All right, well, we have arrived in the Florida Keys. I am so excited. Florida Keys are a series of tropical islands extending off the southern tip of the state of Florida and are unlike any other place in the continental United States. Ever since I first saw pictures of the overseas highway with cars driving lazily over those teal waters, I've wanted to go. The Keys have everything I love about a destination, opportunities to explore, beautiful scenery, and diverse plants and wildlife, both above and below the waves. We planned two weeks down in the Keys and had some very specific things we wanted to do and see. There was one big adventure day where we went out to Dry Tortugas National Park, which was incredible, by the way. Look for that video linked above. But the rest of our time was filled with exploring beaches, visiting state parks, seeing alligators at the Blue Hole, getting fish pedicures at Crane Point Hammock. Of course, we took the obligatory photo at Key West's southernmost point, and there was lots and lots of time swimming. Sprinkled among all these adventures though, there were four things in the back of my mind that I really wanted to see and do while in the Keys. I called it my Florida Keys bucket list. It seemed simple enough. They all felt very attainable. Little did I know how challenging some would actually prove to be. All right, it is a hot afternoon. Work is done for the day, so we are gonna go try and catch some big lizards. Iguanas. There are iguanas here, green iguanas. And I happen to know where some are because I saw them earlier. They're over here across the golf course. So we're gonna see if we can catch ourselves a big lizard. This is not without danger but we're gonna try. So yeah, here in Florida, the iguanas are an invasive species, and so a lot of people wanna get rid of them. Um, but we just think they're cool. So we're gonna see if we can catch one and get a close look at it. There are a lot of them out here on the golf course. We just saw a giant one go into the bushes over here. This is an iguana. Wait, where'd the iguanas go? There's lots of iguanas out here. They are fast, super fast. They fly into the bushes. <laughs> All right, we caught an iguana. It's a tiny one. It's a tiny one, but we caught him. He was, he was tough to catch. Look at this little guy. Oh, I like it. All right, should we let it go? Yeah, but where should we let it go? Ah, let's just talk, she doesn't want let to it go on this bush. Let's go run instantly in. All right, goodbye. It's not sunny though, Dad. All right, we caught a big lizard, but not as big as I want to catch. But we'll we try and catch, catch a bigger one another day. One. So, we just got home from the beach, and we saw a big iguana on the golf tiny. course and I ran out and look what we got. Oh my goodness. This is a big iguana. <laughs> we caught a big lizard. He scratched me up pretty good. So I've got scratches all over my hand. That's a cool greenish But shot. look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's not too happy we caught him, but we'll let him go. We're gonna look at him, take some cool pictures and uh, then we'll let him go, but caught a big lizard. Hi there. Cross that off the list for the Florida Keys. All right, this guy is very, very large and he's not happy about being caught. As you can see, he has scratched my hand really bad. He's scratched me up with these razor sharp claws he's got, but what a cool lizard. Look at that tail, look at that huge long tail. I think this is probably the biggest iguana we're gonna catch. 
because you get any bigger than this and they can definitely inflict some serious damage on you. <laughs> his tail there he is or she we don't know he's gonna whip you dad very big tail such yes. a pretty lizard his though they're so cool look why'd you send me some lisa they're so cool i know iguanas are an invasive species here in florida but they're just such neat lizards they're so cool looking um anyway we're gonna take a couple more pictures of him and then we're gonna let him go over on the golf course right where we found him Hopefully not get scratched for. Except. Okay, watch out, girls. Okay. I'll hold. I'll hold. Alright, I got him. Alright. There we go. Ow, don't make him go down. Okay. Oh. oh dear. I got him, I got him. <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, I thought I said. Chill out, chill out. Okay. Wait, right. I'm not Okay, him. we've got him. <laughs> okay, let's go to the golf course. <laughs> go to the golf course and let's go. Stop filming. Say goodbye to him. It right, should be. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, you got bumps. Yeah. Wait, I'm kidding. All right. And Last pet. This time, feel. Pet him. One more time. Oh, oh, look at this big, colorful dot. Okay. Yeah, that's his dot. That's his All ear, right. Ellie. I thought his ear. So it is a beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. I've just been working this morning and I came, took a break, walked out to the dock for a moment just to uh, relieve my wrists from the mouse clicking that I do every day. And lo and behold, there's a manatee right here, right off the dock. It just went under. So I'll probably have to wait a couple minutes for it to come back up. It's right over here. So apparently manatees are pretty common here in the Florida Keys in these canals. So almost all the neighborhoods have canals running through them, like behind the houses, so people can get their boats in and out and uh, get to the ocean easily. So here in these canals, there's manatees, there's all sorts of sea life. We've actually seen stingrays swimming by, uh, tarpon, uh, pipe fish, tons of minnows everywhere. But yeah, manatees is one of the things that you can spot here. I see bubbles coming up. I think he's gonna come up soon. All right, let's see if we can get him. Oh, look how close we are. That's so cool. Snorkeling is actually one of those things I thought we would have no problems with while down in the Keys. I'd seen pictures and heard of the amazing reefs and wildlife. So it came as somewhat of a surprise to me that we actually had a really tough time finding good spots and conditions. In hindsight, I realized the best snorkeling is out deeper at the reefs, but without a boat, we were limited to the shoreline. To complicate matters, it rained and stormed for many of the days we were there. The wind and runoff made conditions less than ideal, and our first attempts were met with some pretty cloudy water. We also realized that many of the shorelines were lined with tons of Cassiopeia, or upside down jellyfish, which made navigating certain areas a bit dicey. I was the only one to get stung. I stepped on a huge one with my full bare foot. Don't worry though, it was much, much worse for the jellyfish. 
Despite all our snorkeling setbacks, we continued to go out in the afternoons and a few days I had off of work. I was determined to have an epic snorkeling adventure, and one day, everything came together. With all these items crossed off my list, only one remained, to see a shark. I thought maybe we'd see one off in the distance while snorkeling or something like that, but sadly it never happened. I'm hoping to learn to scuba dive this next year to make this dream become a reality. All right, well, tomorrow we leave the Florida Keys. It's been amazing here, huh? Yeah. We've had so much fun. We've done so many cool things made so many memories, had so many adventures, and uh, we crossed most of the things off the list. I mean, we caught a big lizard, we saw the manatees, mm. I actually did see a shark. It was only a fin, and I saw it for like a half second uh, while we were sitting in a parking lot. I was looking out over the water. I'm pretty sure it was a shark. But anyway, I'd say we had a pretty full adventure a couple of weeks here. If you like this, give us a thumbs up, and as always, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along on our million adventures, huh, Brooke? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Bye. Are we there yet? Yeah.